What's going on everybody? Gem Mint back again with another statue reveal video. I'm telling you, I can't keep up between XM Studios, Prime One Studio, and Iron Studios. It's like multiple reveals a day. Prime One Studio had their huge next level showcase number three, and we got a ton of awesome reveals, including these two statues, Batman and Superman, one third scale statue from Dark Knight's Death Metal. Can't wait to jump into this, but before we do, make sure to hit that like button, be subscribed to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're doing a giveaway for our 135,000 subscriber milestone, and we're giving away this sealed, all-new Wolverine X-23 Omnibus from Marvel Comics. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you more details on how you can enter that giveaway. But for now, let's jump into this reveal. All right, here we go, man. Time to start headbanging. Dark Knight's Death Metal. I was so uh, curious to see what these were going to be when I saw the Superman and Batman logos and boom, here we go from Death Metal. Here's Batman, got the chains, he's got the trench coat on and then here's Superman, he's got the long hair, he's got the ripped t-shirt, there goes the boots, the belt buckle as well as a chain and then man, you got the, the Robin Crows on the bottom of the base, the tentacles, there's a switch out portrait. The big scythe. This reminds me of DC Comics meets Berserk. Like those bases, they really took their style from Berserk uh, to create these bases. Got brass knuckles, his decaying dark side looking arm, rage portrait. Love it with the red eyes. So regular Superman just from this uh, Dark Knight's death metal universe uh, along with regular Batman. So these are our two heroes just at the end of this big uh, crisis event. I like that kind of shadowy face. Yeah, see, look at those bases. Very berserk looking, right? The tentacles especially. So two for one reveal right here. One third scale pieces. Coming soon. Oh, Wonder Woman coming soon. I didn't even catch that. Yep, so you have to do the Trinity. All right, and then here we go. We have Batman here next to Akasan. Uh, One-third scale. It is enormous, man. Look how big this, <laughs> this Batman statue is. You know, it, you really need to have somebody in the frame to give it perspective and give it scale. So this is Akasan just talking about the storyline. This is the most recent crisis event, the end of a universe and kind of recreating the Omni, well, the recreating the multiverse, making the Omniverse in DC Comics. So this is like the end of times, the end of an era, if you will. This is Bruce Wayne, Batman. You know, we've gotten a lot of dark multiverse versions of Bruce Wayne in this line, but this is the real Bruce Wayne, the real Batman fighting for the, the multiverse, essentially. Here's some closer up details without all the uh, fire and explosions surrounding it. The details look, look great. I mean, it's Prime One Studio. What do you expect? But it looks less like their Hush line and more like their Berserk line to me, man. The chains giving you very much close to a Batman Who Laughs look. Although th these chains might look a little thinner. There we go. Then you got the uh, spikes on his trench coat there, the different texturing and the different types of fabric. That nice brown with shadowing. I like the wrap around the scythe and it's jagged. Just whatever he could find in this hell type of realm that he's found himself in. He's got the uh, Black Lantern ring. That was another. Uh, that's another nod to the comics. You can see the musculature, the fabric texture sculpted in there. You know, I didn't think I, I would like these as much as I did when I saw them next to Akasan. That really sold it for me. Like, okay, these are these are beasts. The Robin Crows being choked by the neck. I like the, the paint applications on this costume. Then you have these other like undead zombie type people on the bottom of the base. Amazing base. The base is awesome. Really gives it an epic scope. Bat emblem on the base as well. Showing all the portraits. I like that last one. Both of those with the mask over the face look great. Yeah, and they're going to have separate uh, little standees for all the portraits. I love when Prime One does that because then you don't just keep them in the box. You know, then you actually display all the portraits. 
different scythe switch outs. That's probably going to be for the DX version. Yeah, it looks great. Again, when you have it in scale to a person, one third scale, it's really one third the size of this guy, right? <laughs> Very cool, man. And there we have it, two enormous statues, and so crazy to see Prime 1 continue down this Dark Knight's death metal line. They've already given us Batman Who Laughs and all these dark multiverse versions of Bruce Wayne, whether it's like the Bruce Wayne mixed with uh, Wonder Woman or the, or the version that became the Flash, the, uh, the Red Death, the version that became uh, the Green Lantern. So they gave us all those, and now they're giving us regular Batman, regular Superman. Crazy, man. I, I'm really impressed. I like the bases. I like the dark tone of the line i think these two more more so than even the evil versions of bruce wayne so really impressive uh let me know what you guys think about these pieces in, in the comments down below like i said we're doing a giveaway for our 135,000 subscriber milestone we're giving away this all new wolverine sealed omnibus from marvel comics all you got to do is be subscribed leave a like and comment below once we reach that milestone we'll go live pick a random video where i promoted this giveaway and use a random youtube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner we're still doing the same 150k giveaway but uh we're just going to do some smaller ones until we reach that i uh, appreciate you guys watching but don't go anywhere check out my other statue reveal playlist to the right and my statue unboxing and reviews and stay minty fresh peace